Imagine being hailed as the British Bill Gates, only to face a dramatic fall from grace. This is a story of Mike Lynch. Born in Ilford, London in 1965, Mike Lynch's journey began with humble roots, his mother a nurse and his father a firefighter. At just 11 years old, Lynch won a scholarship to Bancos School, setting a stage for a future filled with academic excellence. He later attended Christ College Cambridge, where he studied natural sciences and earned a PhD in artificial neural networks. While studying for his PhD in the late 80s, Lynch founded Lynette Systems, a company that produced audio products including synthesizers for the Atari ST. In 1991, he founded Cambridge Neurodynamics, specialising in computer-based fingerprint recognition, making his entry into the tech world. Three spin-offs emerged from Cambridge Neurodynamics, Neuroscript, which searched business documents based on a character recognition, and was bought by a German company Diacom in 2004. Encore, which searched databases, and Autonomy, which searched unstructured sources including phone calls, emails, and videos. Autonomy was co-founded in 1996 by Lynch, the CEO, David Tabazel, and Richard Gaunt. Autonomy became one of the top 100 UK public companies. Autonomy's success led to its sale to Hewlett Packard in 2011 for over $11 billion, making Lynch a wealthy man and being described by the press as a British equivalent of Bill Gates. However, the sale was marred by accusations of fraud, leading to civil litigation and Lynch's extradition to the US. Despite the legal battles, Lynch continued to innovate, founding Invoke Capital, a venture capital firm. Invoke Capital backed several successful companies, including a cybersecurity firm, Darktrace. Lynch's involvement with Darktrace faced skepticism, with some analysts referring to its technology as snake oil. Other companies backed by Invoke Capital included Future Space, Humanance, and Sophia Genetics. Lynch held numerous prestigious positions, including roles on the boards of the BBC, the British Library, and the Francis Crick Institute. In 2018, Lynch was indicted for fraud in the US, leading to a high-profile trial in San Francisco in 2024. After an 11-week trial, Lynch was found not guilty of all charges, a significant victory to the embattled entrepreneur. Tragically, in August 2024, Lynch's by Baisian capsized off the coast of Sicily, leading to his untimely death. Lynch's wife, Angelica Bacaez, was among the 15 people rescued, but her teenage daughter, Hannah, remains missing. Lynch's life was marked by both incredible achievements and dramatic controversies, making him a complex and fascinating figure. He was appointed an OBE for his services to Enterprise in 2006 and was elected a Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering in 2008. In 2011, Lynch was named the most influential person in UK IT by Computer Weekly. He was also a Fellow of the Royal Society and a Deputy Lieutenant of the County of Suffolk. Lynch's personal interests included playing jazz saxophone and preserving rare breeds such as his herd of red pole cattle. Despite his legal troubles, Lynch's contributions to the tech industry remain significant and influential. His story serves as a reminder of a thin line between success and scandal in the high-stakes world of technology. Lynch's legacy is a testament to his brilliance and resilience, even in the face of immense challenges. From his early days in Ilford to his rise as a tech titan, Lynch's journey is a compelling tale of ambition and innovation. His work in machine learning and artificial intelligence has left a lasting impact on the tech industry. Lynch's life story is a blend of triumph, controversy and tragedy, making it a captivating narrative. As we reflect on his legacy, we are reminded of the complexities and the contradictions that define great innovators. Stay tuned for more stories of remarkable individuals who have shaped our world. This is the story of Mike Lynch, a tech visionary.